William Bradford, speaking in 1630 of the founding of the Plymouth Bay Colony, said that all great and honorable actions are accompanied with great difficulty, and both must be enterprised and overcome with answerable courage. If this capsule history of our progress teaches us anything, it is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The exploration of space will go ahead. Whether we join in it or not, we mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. For the eyes of the world now look into space, to the moon and to the planets beyond. Our leadership in science and industry, our hopes for peace and security, our obligations to ourselves as well as others, all require us to make this effort, to solve these mysteries, to solve them for the good of all men. There is no strife, no prejudice, no national conflict in outer space as yet. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone and one we intend to win. Twenty seconds and counting. T-minus fifteen seconds. Guidance is internal. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. two miles. Oh, 11 Houston, you're good at one minute. Downrange one mile, altitude three, four miles now. Velocity 2,195 feet per second. precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moon quakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. Roger, 